Magandang araw mga classmate. Ngayong araw, ang pag-uusapan natin ay ang pagpapatuloy ng lesson natin about polynomial equations. Sa araling ito, aalamin natin paano kinukuha ang roots ng polynomial equations. So ano nga ba ang roots ng polynomial equation? Roots of polynomial equations define as the solution for which the equation is equal to zero. O sa madaling salita, ito yung mga value ng x sa ating polynomial equation na kapag sinubstitute natin sa ating uh, given equation ay magiging equal siya sa 0. Okay, so paano naman natin malalaman kung ilang roots meron ng isang polynomial equation? As stated in the fundamental theorem of algebra, Every polynomials of degree n and with real coefficients will have at most n number of real roots. Let's say we have polynomial of x equals a x raised to n plus b x raised to n minus 1 up to uh, our constant. Sabi dito, at most daw meron tayong n number of roots. So, in other words, uh, kadalasan kung ano yung ating degree ng polynomial, so at most daw, ang nagiging bilang ng roots ay kung ano yung degree ng ating polynomial. So, in this case, we are going to uh, find the roots using the zero product property and applying the factor theorem. So, let us answer the uh, first set of examples. So, if you will notice, classmate ang ating uh, polynomial equation is written as uh, linear factors. So, kapag ang given ay linear factors, so mas madali nating makukuha ang kanyang roots. So, ano yung gagamitin natin? So, in this case, uh, gagamitin lang natin yung tinatawag natin na zero product property. Kung saan lahat ng factors ay i-equate natin sa 0. Okay, so let's start. So let's say we have x plus 1 as a 1 of the factor of the uh, poly, uh, polynomial. So equate natin sa 0. Kaya tinawag siya na 0 product property. And then from this uh, point, pwede na natin i-apply yung addition property of equality kung saan mag a tayo ng opposite ng constant sa both side ng equation so para ito ay makancel so matitira sa left is x 0 plus negative 1 is negative 1 so ito yung isa sa root ng equation another one so we have x uh, minus 2 again equate natin sa 0 so, we all know, when we apply the addition property of equality, so, isa sa root natin ay x equal positive 2. So, for the last one, so, when we equate uh, x plus 3 to 0, so, it will give us a value of x as negative 3. So, the roots of the given polynomial equation written in linear factors are negative 1, positive 2, and negative 3. Okay, so let's proceed sa ating pangalawang set ng example. So, same uh, step sa ginawa natin dun sa nauna. Equate natin yung x minus 3 sa 0. And then apply addition property of equality. So, this one will result to positive 3. So, ito yung isa sa ating roots. Then, sa pangalawa... Same pa rin, equate sa 0, applying the addition property of equality, x equals negative 2. But in this case, kung mapapansin nyo classmate, uh, ang ating linear factors, yung pangalawang factor natin has a degree 2. Or uh, na square yung isa sa factor. So if that's the case, so meron tayong tinatawag na uh, root multiplicity so meaning to say 
yung ating uh, negative 2 has uh, multiplicity of 2. Since uh, yung x plus 2 na factor ay na-square natin. So, the roots are positive 3, negative 2 with a multiplicity of 2. Okay. So, that's it. So, do natin ginagamit yung zero product property. Okay. So, let's have the uh, another way of uh, finding the roots using factor theorem. So, this time, ang given natin ay polynomial equation written in standard form. Okay, so gamit yung uh, factor theorem, so ang unang step natin is to list down all the possible factors of 30. So, we have uh, 1 and 30. So, isulat natin magkaka-partner. So, we have 2 and 15. Then, 3. 10 and 5 and 6 so from the list of possible roots so gagamitan natin ngayon ng trial and error so gamit etong mga device or, or possible roots na ito so uh, trial and error tayo so gamit ang uh, synthetic division so, we all know na kapag ang naging remainder is zero, so, ibig sabihin, yung ginamit natin na divisor ay isa sa root ng polynomial equation. So, by the way, ang ating given na polynomial equation is degree 3. So, ibig sabihin, uh, at most, ang uh, bilang ng kanyang roots ay tatlo rin. Okay. So, subukan natin yung 1. So, by trial and error, using synthetic division, so let us uh, list down all the numerical coefficient ng ating polynomial equation. And then, perform synthetic division. So, this is 1. Times 1 is 1. Then, add natin. This is negative 3 times uli sa 1. Negative 3. So, negative 14. So, in this case, uh, pwede na natin hindi ituloy. Kasi alam natin na hindi magiging zero ang kanyang uh, remainder. Okay. Subukan natin ang positive 2. So again, 1. 1 times 2. So when we add negative 2. So negative 2 times 2 is negative 4. So kapag in natin, this is negative 15. 2 times negative 15 is negative 30. So, kapag in natin, remainder is 0. So, in this case, so, isa sa ating roots ay positive 2. Okay. So, sabi ko kanina, ang uh, possible na number ng ating uh, roots ay uh, tatlo considering na ang ating uh, polynomial equation ay degree 3. So, in this case, pwede na natin hindi gamitan ng trial and error kasi kung mapapansin, yung quotient natin, uh, kapag sinulat natin, so this is x squared minus 2x minus 15. So, kapag inequate natin to 0, so ang tawag natin sa kanya ay depressed equation. So, yung depressed equation natin, so, if you will notice, eh, pwede na nating i-factor. So, ang x squared minus 2x minus 15, so, possible factors niya, uh, we have, so, pwede nating gamitin ang 5 and 3. Kasi, when we multiply 3 and 5, so, the answer is 15. But, uh, Dapat kapag ito ay pinag-add natin, ang sagot ay negative 2. So, pwede natin gamitin as uh, ito ang negative, ito ang positive. So, positive 3 times negative 15 is 
Ah, uh, sorry. Positive 3 times negative 5, negative 15. So, 3 plus negative 5 is negative 2. So, ibig sabihin, tama yung ating uh, factors. So, ibig sabihin, pwede na nating uh, gamitan ng zero product property itong factor. So, we have x plus 3 equal 0. So, yung isa sa factors natin ay negative 3. Then, the other one, x minus 5 equal 0. Ang isa pa nating uh, roots ay positive 5. So, ang roots natin, meron tayong positive 2, negative 3, and positive 5. Okay, so in this case, classmate, pwede na rin nating i-factor yung ating uh, polynomial equation. So, when we are asked to find the factor or kapag pinafactor sa atin yung uh, polynomial equation, pwede nating isulat yung kanyang factors as x plus 3 times x minus 5 times x minus 2. So, yung x minus 2 natin ay nanggaling rito. Okay. So, that's it. So, meron tayong factors, meron na rin tayong roots. Okay. So, let's have the last one. Again, unang step natin, isulat lahat yung possible factors ng uh, constant. So, kung mapapansin kanina, yung constant term din yung ating na factor So, ang possible factors ng negative 6, uh, pwedeng positive, negative ito, no? So, we have 1, uh, 6, 2, and 3. So, aside from that, uh, parang wala na, no? So, ulitin ko, pwedeng positive 1, negative 6. Pwedeng uh, negative 1, positive 6. Same dito sa positive 2 at negative 3 or negative 2 and positive 3. Okay, so trial and error ulit tayo. So gamitin natin yung positive 1. So by synthetic division, step or first step natin ay isulat lahat ng numerical coefficient ng ating polynomial equation. Then, proceed na tayo sa division. So, 1 times 1 is 1. When we add, this is 3. 3 times 1 is 3. So, kapag uh, na-add natin, this is negative 2. So, pwede na natin hindi itutloy. Kasi, ikita naman natin na hindi magiging 0 yung kanyang remainder. So, pwede natin subukan yung negative 1. So, this is again 1. Multiply to negative 1. Negative 1. So, pag in natin, this is positive 1. Again, this is uh, negative 1. Pag pinag natin, this is negative 6. So, negative 6 times negative 1 is positive 6. So, pag in natin, this is 0. Okay. So, meron na ulit tayong isang roots. So, ang isa nating uh, root ay negative 1. Again, punta tayo dun sa ating depressed equation. So, we have x squared plus x minus 6. Then, equate natin sa 0. So, pwede uli natin i-factor ito. So, kung mapapansin nyo, yung ating nagiging uh, depressed equation ay uh, usually uh, quadratic. Ano, nagiging quadratic type ng equation. So, kaya pwede na nating i-factor. So, possible factor nya. So, yung constant pwede gamitin natin ay 3 and 2. So, ito ang ating positive, ito yung negative. Okay, so ganun uli. When we equate the first factor to 0, so one of the roots is negative 3. Okay. 
And then, same with x minus 2 when we equate to 0. So, ang isa sa root ay positive 2. Okay, so again, pwede na natin identify yung factors. So, we now have the factors of the given polynomial equations are x plus 3 x minus 2 and x plus 1. So, yun ay nanggaling uli dito. Okay. So, that's it. So, I hope you learn a lot from today's lesson and feel free to share sa ating classmate o sa iba pa para mas marami pa tayong matulungan. Until next time,